Alright, here we go. John Snow here. This is the second part of the Crow's Nest mission. The achievement is uh, the demon achievement, and you need 15,000 points to get it. Uh, make sure you got the shotgun and chuck a grenades uh, and do not hit that little platform there like my first grenade did. You'll be pissed at yourself. Um, the brutes tend to deploy regenerators a lot, especially when they're near the chieftain, uh, and they don't do much. I, I've never really seen them help. If, if you take down their power armor, don't worry about it coming back. Um, the hardest part about this uh, right here is you, is a couple of the brutes will charge you, and if you, if you can just take out most of the brutes right now, and I'm being a dumbass, um, letting them get pretty close cool, so while I'm focusing on the chieftain. Um, you do not want that chieftain to charge you. He can really do some damage, and right now I'm just firing away at his skull. Um... And if you can, it's a little difficult to do, but it works very well, and I should have done it right here. Is he's over on the right side. If you move to the left, you can get a really good shot in at some fusion cores that hopefully he'll be standing next to. And if he's weak enough, that'll kill him. Um, pretty much the tactic here is to strafe back and forth, uh, side to side, and just keep going for the head because, you know, you're the Master Chief Super Soldier. Moving around does not affect... Uh, you're aiming that much. I just took out the chieftain. It's 940 points um, for the headshot. It's great. Um, the shotgun is kind of useful um, when they get up close as our spike grenades. You do have to be a little careful because with the catch skull on, there's going to be grenades littered everywhere. And sometimes you'll just set off a huge chain reaction, uh, which on rare occasions can lead straight back to you. All in all, not a difficult part. Um, legendary, yeah, difficult. Watch Beer Baron's um, legendary walkthrough, uh, nextgenwalkthroughs.com, and you can beat this game on legendary. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much all the strategy. This spot right here is a great place to hold because for some reason the brutes um, on normal do not throw a lot of grenades. Um, during this part, even with the catch skull on. When you do have the catch skull on, be m a lot more wary of um, brutes than you are of grunts and jackals, because I'm, I'm just heading up top. Uh, ooh, almost got killed by a like tractor trailer or something. Or other. Uh, be more wary of brutes, because brutes tend to throw grenades as a pack, so you'll see one, like, reach back for grenades, and you'll look at the other three around him, and they'll all be reaching for grenades. Uh, there are some frag grenades you can pick up, grenades, 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 that's all I can talk about. If you want to head up and, uh, during this fight, go onto that turret, be my guest and die, one of them will stick you. The fusion cores were just to the right, as you saw them. Don't even bother to pick up the hammer, it's gonna have, um, half ammo because of the famine skull. Um, I have, I, I did not use the fog skull, uh, for parts like this, where there's not necessarily very dangerous enemies, but the ones, um, but they're annoying, and at times they can really fuck you up if you're not careful. Um, just take out a few of the drones, uh, and there's some behind me and I'm being an idiot and, like, ignoring them. Uh, use the battle rifle if you want. I, you really shouldn't. You really want to save it, especially if you're having trouble shooting them like I am. Um, and whatever you want, just head down. The grunt birthday party skull is right here. Um, but I already have that, and you already should too. The arbiter's there. He does nothing. You, um, want to switch to spike grenades because you can get a couple of really good sticks right here. One is on this brute, and then you can try and stick that brute. It's tough going for that second stick, not because it's hard to get, but if you're not careful, you might accidentally kill the marine and lose a few points. Um, it's not that bad, but I try to avoid doing it, because if you do it too much, the marines will attack you, and you will be forced to kill them. They're really not much of a threat against you. Um, close range sticks were great on brutes, because they just don't have the chance... Oh, I stuck that brute as he was dying. They just don't have the chance to dive out of the way, even with the tough luck skull in place. It's just not viable for them. Uh, this brute was being very annoying. If there were some marines around, he probably would have charged them. 
uh, and probably killed one or two of them, considering how fragile they are compared to you. Um, get some more spike grenades. I prefer to get a power drain. Um, I pick it up here just because you can take down um, the brute's shields with them, and then a few uh, battle rifle headshots, and you've taken out a whole group of them. A stick from any grenade, be it plasma, um, spike, or later in the game, firebomb is an instant kill against you. So, uh, foretold is forewarned. Even though I don't think that's how the actual saying goes. Don't get stuck. Because you will die. No matter what difficulty you're on. Um, the chieftain here can, can be a problem on legendary with the famine skull on which is why I advise you to never play on legendary with the famine skull on because right about now you're going to be all you're going to be on your last clip of battle rifle and you're going to have no good um close range weapon to approach him with and you actually do not want to approach him at close range cuz that um turret can really tear you up if you're not careful um and I pick up another power drain just to use uh in here if you're uh, search these alcoves if you're really low on ammo because there will be battle rifles and shotguns and I'm low on ammo like pretty damn low and you can and you'll find weapons I pick up a carbine uh just in case I can't find anything but there's battle rifles littered on the ground um and they've got just a bit more ammo than my uh old battle rifle did um, and I eventually get up back up to full ammo. There's a lot of dead marines with battle rifles. Oh, and there's the battle rifles. Hee <laughs> hee. And shotguns. You can grab the turret if you want. It's actually a good idea on, um, if you're playing co-op to have one person grab the turret. Uh, this video is getting close over. Um, just so you know, most of the videos are going to be anywhere from like six and a half to eight minutes long. I did not like any, uh, overly long or overly short videos. This video will end uh, right before the fight at the landing pad and the next one will continue on through the end. Um, go up the elevator if you want to run quick through and not take the marines with you. Um, be my guest. It's, it's a fun challenge, especially on Legendary. I will see you next video and we will kick those brutes ass.